Hi guys, welcome back to Lela's Home Cooking. On today's episode, I want to show you how I make my version of Mawa Samosa. And uh, for that, I'm using the actual Mawa, which is uh, Koya. You, they call it Koya and Mawa both. Uh, basically, this is just milk and it's like a block of milk. And if you can find the Mawa, the actual Koya, then you can replace this to milk powder and you're just going to do the same uh, processing except I'm going to grate this into a, into a grater, like a hand grater and then uh, that's for the mawa. We also need sugar, some uh, chopped almond, some vegetable ghee and uh, freshly ground cardamom powder and then for the dough we need uh, plain flour, salt, water and also the ghee. And this key is for the dough and also for the uh, uh, mawa. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go grate this koya and then we're going to move to the next step. Add your koya or your milk powder if you're using milk powder. We're going to roast this on low heat for about five to six minutes. This is how the koya looks like. I'm going to add one teaspoon of the freshly ground cardamom, also the chopped almond. We need a few more ingredients which I'm going to bring this uh, with, I'm going to bring it after and then uh, just mix and keep the heat on low. Add sugar, mix, add two tablespoons of ghee. gonna mix and keep roasting until we get a nice golden brown color. It's been 10 minutes and you can see the golden brown color and now I'm gonna add liquid milk. And uh, continue to mix and continue to roast until all the milk gets dry and you have a nice smooth, soft, thick mixture like a dough and the koya was roasting for another 15 minutes and the heat was extremely low and uh, this is how you're gonna get the nice roasted koya without burning and I think this looks beautiful to make the dough uh, I have the flour in the large bowl and I'm gonna add just quarter teaspoon of salt not too much and then uh, the key. I'm just using regular tap water and we're gonna add water little by little and I'm gonna start mixing this with a wooden spoon and then I'm gonna switch my hand in just a bit. Don't add too much water at once and we are just looking to make a nice smooth dough just like we make a roti dough. The dough is ready and you can just leave it to rest for about 10 minutes or you can just go ahead and start making your uh, mawa samosa and I'm just gonna go wash my hand and then we're gonna move to the next step. Okay guys, in this bowl I have ghee and corn flour or corn starch and just mix. Written ingredient will be down below in the description box. And I have some dry flour here if I need some dry flour. Of course, I'm gonna need a little bit on my table. Okay, now we're gonna put the dough. And I'm just gonna roll this. It's about half centimeter. And this mixture, and this has to be spread. Spreading uh, the ghee will help the, ma the mawa samosa to get those flakiness in the mawa. And so this is done. And now I want to start from uh, here. And we're going to roll this. Just keep rolling until the uh, end of the dough. Roll it like this. Ok, 
okay now you have a firm lock and then we're gonna start cutting this I'm gonna start from the middle so I can get it into half I have rolled my mawa my koya mixture into 11 and what I need here is 22 this so make sure you cut them equal sizes 22 pieces so I'm doing few right now and I have already turned like these into round all you have to do is press this down and you can just press it uh, flat it flat the dough with uh, just your fingertips or you can just use a rolling pin and uh, now the mawa, the koya, when you roll this into a bowl, make sure they are like flat a little bit, not exactly like a ball, because when you will add the second layer, and then this will like stick out, and you might have a little bit trouble to roll the dough around uh, at the edges. And now what we're gonna do is press down around it, and then we're gonna just twist the edges just like mawa oil was preheating and gently you're gonna add your mawa you're gonna fry I'm not gonna add too many at a time one side is like uh, dry there's no um, raw dough and you can flip the mawa so you can fry on the other side as well and then I'm gonna flip it again and flip it again, flip it again and until I get a nice golden color and our mawa samosa is looking gorgeous looks pretty drain the oil I have a plate ready with paper towel on the other side mawa samosa is ready and if you want to do them in their big regular size then uh, I got seven which I have already snacked in one and if you want to make it mini mawa samosa, you can get 11. And um, I just want to cut into half so I can show you the inside. And it is nice and crispy. You can hear the noise, the sound. And look at the flakiness. So good, so good, mm. I don't know if you can hear it, this is so good, written ingredient will be down below in the description box, I will see you next time.